This lesson deals with supplemental problem 9.1. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 9 supplemental problems on page 1. Given a circuit with three resistors, a voltage source, and an ideal diode, can you figure out the current in the diode and the voltage across the 20k resistor? Our strategy for solving this kind of problem was to replace the diode by a resistor and try to figure out whether the current is flowing from anode to cathode or from cathode to anode. Let's see if we can figure that out. The resistors can only absorb power, so current has to come out of the battery, come back this way, or come back this way. Current is flowing from the anode to the cathode, and so I'm going to guess that this is a short circuit. We'll solve for this current, which is also I in our particular problem, and then we'll see whether that was a correct guess or not. Before I go on, I've marked the nodes here with a dark circle. So all of this is a node, all of this is a node, and all of this, and so is this. Prior to this in Chapter 2, I was also showing the soldering connections. But I'm going to stop doing that, so I'm no longer going to mark the nodes with a dark circle. I'll leave it up to you to do. Okay, let's analyze the problem. If I could solve for the voltage across here, that's one of my variables, but it's also related to the current in the diode. I've got two resistors in parallel here, so 20k in parallel with 20k, that's half the value of 10k, and that's going to be voltage divided with 10k. Two parallel resistors divided by the two parallel resistors, voltage divided with 10k times 15 volts. And when you do that, you actually lose the current in this diode, but that's okay. If I can find this voltage, I can work backwards and get the current. Basically, get half of 15 volts, which is 7.5. And, and now let's find the current in the diode. Well, the current in the 20k resistor is 7.5 volts divided by 20k, and that's 375 microamps. Is that greater than or equal to zero? Yes. So the assumption checks, and the value of I is this, and the value of V is this. And this is supplemental problem 9.1.